SSD performance light bar that has two Hella 500 amber driving lights and two Hella 500 uh, fog lights with candle power uh, H3 selective yellow bulbs in them. The bulbs are whatever. Um, they're better than the OEM ones or better than the stock Hella ones, but they're not as yellow as I'd really like. I love selective yellow, but this really just, it's not my favorite, but it's not terrible either. except for my grill lights are DOT legal. I can drive with them on the street. Um, though I don't really always do. So right now, this is just my full headlight. Uh, these are the 2018 WRX steering responsive LED headlights. And then these are my tinted yellow fog lights. These are my stock fog lights. They're just tinted, no aftermarket ones. Then that's my amber driving light. Those are my hella fog lights. And those are my grill craft grill lights. So we put all of them on. There we go. Obviously it's kind of ridiculous to drive around with all of them, but what I like to do in the snow is drive like this. This is my DRL C light, and then I have my driving lights. This is nice for the snow, fog, and other such things, um, as yellow has a better penetrating light property than white does. Um, so it'd be stupid to drive with these on in the snow, but they're great on clear nights like this. And then obviously we got my fog lights, which are for fog. Um, so let's see, let's cycle through this. This is my driving light and my fog lights. That's my fog light and my grill lights. That's just my sea light. There are a lot of deer on this road, so I don't really want to do that for very long. This is just my grill lights. Headlights and OEM fog lights. And I don't know what else I've hit, but that's just some uh, examples of what I can do with this. Um, these are a lot of the roads that I drive on every day during the night. So, obviously, I like having a lot of lights if possible, and I think these are a really good setup for this. Um, I often get asked on like Reddit, do I like my Grillcraft grill? And I do, but I'll be honest, if I didn't live in the country where there's not a 
a ton of lighting, I probably wouldn't want it. I'd probably just go for their driving light, or for their mesh grill. I probably wouldn't go for the LED series grill. Um, while I like it, and I use it all the time, uh, I just, I wouldn't find it very useful if I lived in well-lit areas, but I don't. So, to answer that really commonly asked question, I probably get asked that 20 times every time I post something on Reddit, and it's getting kind of foggy, I don't know how well you can see it in the dash cam, but my fog lights and my driving lights are doing a great job lighting up the road. I can kill my uh, headlights and I can still see perfectly fine. This light bar does shake a little bit, but that's mostly just because the suspension is decently stiff on the new WRXs. And that's without the fog light and just the driving light. I definitely like how that lights up the sides a bit more. Uh, it definitely like makes it easier for me to see deer if they're off to the side and whatnot. Um, but as we're coming into winter, I don't really have to worry about that as much. And these are my fog lights and my grill lights. And there's another car, so we're just going to put our normal headlights on. Not disturb them. And we will have to flip around here because this road does close up here. But we'll flip around and go up super well where that white LED light just really blinded me and reflected and I couldn't see. This lets me see. Um, you know, I also get asked questions, why do I go halogen? Why, why don't I go HID? Why don't I go LED? You know, and the answer is because halogen is warm. It's halogen lights aren't very efficient and they produce a lot of heat. This is really good for when you're driving in the snow. I never have to worry about snow really getting up on my lights and sticking there. I don't have to worry about that. And look at this. I mean, I can. it's very thick fog. I don't know how well the dash cam is doing this justice, but I can see so well compared to a normal LED light. And it's, you know, I just, I really like the light that the halogens produce. You know, sure, it's not super crisp like an HID or an LED would be. And sure, it's pretty inefficient, but it's cheap. If, if one of these breaks, it's cheap for me to get parts for. It's cheap to replace. It's, you know, bulbs for these are super cheap. Even these selective yellow bulbs are decently cheap. And that's what I really like about it. Um, you know, the heat that it produces. I live in Washington, so, you know, it, it snows a lot. I live right in the mountains. And so, it, it, you know, snow being on headlights and everything is super common. So, for that to just never have to worry about snow getting stuck on there is great. I mean, you put your hand on a halogen light and you can really feel the heat and so yeah i mean that's why i don't really go hid or go with leds though i have considered possibly going um like baja designs as a replacement for my grillcraft grill lights um I'm thinking possibly some Squadron R's. I'm not sure if I want an amber one, as they have a white and an amber version. So I'm not sure which one I want. Um, I'll probably go with the white, which I can get in a driving slash fog combo. And I think that would fit it really well. I think 
think I still need to lower my Grillcraft grill lights. Um, but one thing I really don't like about the grill is that it's hard to adjust the lights. I mean, you have to take the bumper off to do that. And with this light setup, it's hard to do. Look at that. I can see these deer right up here with these lights, though. dash cam but there's two little baby deer there and I really wanted these lights the, the grill lights to spot deer and you can definitely spot deer with them it saved my ass more than a couple of times so I really like this light setup um, you know I've seen a lot of people that put like an LED light bar in the bumper um, and that's cool if you're going for a stealthy look but you know I bought a Subaru because I like rally and you know I may not be building a full-on rally car but that doesn't mean I can't build a rally inspired car um, you know I, I've had a Miata I have a, I've had a BMW I've had the sporty you know lower type of cars and I didn't want to do that with a super. 